Buenos dias. Oh, 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 oh. I was gonna say Buenos dias, but I couldn't finish it. Uh, is, is that the guy from uh, from Team Fortress? It's Methodist. Saxton Hale. Yes. Yes, this is Saxton Hale. Welcome Good. back, well, everybody. To welcome back. Our let's play of Guacamelee. Uh, <laughs> oh, I like his shark attack. I do too. He's That's got great animation. So great. He's very uh, high quality. Yeah. Oh, well, I had so much enthusiasm for this going, and then a hairy Australian man appeared to me. So, um, I've been man. saving that to ruin your enthusiasm for Thank basically you. months. <laughs> months and months. Oh, it worked so well. Um, so yeah, here we are, perched at the peak of the last uh, portion of the game. Um, we have done everything except... Assault Kalaka's Fortress. You can see his little it's circling not true. We right have there. to go to Juan's house. We also need to collect some other things first from Juan's house if we want to get the right ending. Uh, there's no more major dungeons is what I'm saying. Yeah, well, I, I'm not going to lie to you folks. Not having played the game in approximately 50 years, uh -huh. uh, I barely remember what the arrow keys are anymore. I lied to you. He's a liar. He's um, full of lies. That's right. Uh, oh, you can, actually, I, this is one thing I don't like, is that you can't Ooh. teleport any closer than the forest del Chivo. Yeah. Which is, I'm still not really... I'm not clear what that's supposed to be a reference to, incidentally. Is it the, the chive forest? Oh, is it? Is that what it is? No, I made that Well up. might be. Uh, so it, there's a thing to do in here if you want to do it the forest bit before we do the, um... Sure. Before we do the wand's house bit. Okay. Uh... And you have all of the moves, right? You've got mm -hmm. the, uh, the... F oh, the Ah, yes, that's his chicken phone. Of course it is. <laughs> it's just a tinier sack of mail. Uh, I think... The, yeah, you want to use that. Get back up. Um, uh, of course it's... What's his, what's his upper attack? I can't... I didn't he rides that. a lion. Oh, it's Eel rides a lion. This is so good! He's oh so my gosh. Quality. That is extremely high quality. Ah, yes. Welcome to the... This, the unfortunate part for you is this is right at the part where we're like, oh, you don't remember how to do things. Do you? Well, platforming time. Right. Intense platforming. I um, barely remember how to do anything. I think the wow. only way to really get this one is to, to uh, phase through the first one like right as soon as the platform starts heading down. You okay. know, so that you can get your little double jump going. Yeah, yeah. As soon as it goes. Ride my shark. Over That's right. Side. Anyway, uh, if anyone has forgotten the basic plot, the plot is an angry uh, Shuro cowboy man has taken over hell and uh, is determined to enact his hideous revenge by merging the two worlds. Basically, my Thursday night. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, you do have hideous revenge clothes. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't going to go well. No. Oh, well, there you go. Well. Man, I okay. forgot what we are. We are uh, Luchador. That's the true there's Luchador. There's a chest over here, I guess. Yeah, there is. Uh, and there's also, I believe, a secret, although not the big secret of the force. There is a secret by um, Goatman's house, by Goat Uwe Chivo's. You can also see the blue wall up there. Yeah. You know, I was playing recently Axiom Verge, which is another sort of Metroidvania. Sure. And it's got a lot to recommend it. It's a fun game, but one thing that I will say is um, I actually ended up going through 100%ing it because I'm insane. Right. But um, in order to do that, there's a lot of like this portion of the wall, which is completely indistinguishable from all other portions of the wall. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, isn't itself a secret panel, but two blocks behind it is, and now that you have something which teleports you through two blocks, you need to exactly right here, you know, know what the deal is. And right, so I, right. I do not care for it. You get on the map in Guacamelee, and pretty much you can see where to go. Uh -huh, right. Some of the chicken spots are a little bit harder to see, you know, because they just look like little tiny little leprechaun man. <laughs> I love ben. that little sack He's snail. so great. He runs so fast. He does. And then I'll just get big. Oh, is, is it a... Is he, he suplexes a gorilla <laughs> He's down. throttling Honestly. a gorilla, yep. Oh, oh this is just a never-ending parade of delight. <laughs> anyway, yeah. as I was saying, like, it's, it's 
just it's fun to get around this way. Like, yeah, you know, the, the more abilities you have, the easier it is to navigate, and it pretty much shows you right where everything is. And right. I don't know. Maybe easier the fights are. Yeah, maybe there's people out there who really take a lot of joy in absolutely like looking at every square inch of scenery that's not this man. Yeah, and I mean, that wouldn't be as big of a problem if Axiom First had anything like attractive scenery. Right. It is I mean, a, it's... Yeah, it's a, now, folks, it's there is a well... Graphics. There is a well-known discrepancy where I like pixels better than Ms. Bundefland does. But even I can admit, a lot of it is just literally, like, glitches, glitchy looks to it, so... Yeah. It's, I understand it's that's res, part of the plot or weird. something. Yeah, it's, it's part of the attraction for some people, I think. I'm not even as big a fan of it as I might be. Uh, but, anyway, yeah. And that's the art style is excellent in Guacamelee. It's fun to get around. Yeah. You ride a shark into a skeleton. <laughs> uh, granted, that's not part of the default no. package. Uh, I think I'm right in saying that none of the the deal or the downloadable skins have any particular... Right, they're always statistically them. just vanilla ones. And I'll actually tell you, I think that was a very wise move on the part of the developers, because you know if they let people mess around with that, then every right. skin it would, would all be infinite skeleton stamina and regenerating chicken health. Right. So. Which would make sense given uh, Saxton Hale here, but... Uh, I don't... I no, it's bad. shudder to describe anything involving Saxton Hale as making yes. sense. Oh, interesting. I never got up this way. I went a completely different way, and I wasn't aware you could get up here this way. I did the, uh, the goat fly off of one of these walls down here. Oh, actually, though, uh, go ahead and give that a try. Go over to one of the... Go up, and then on that little tiny ledge up there, that little wall, just okay. if you can this just way? barely jump... Uh, you've actually just passed it. Okay. Okay. The tiny little wall right below you. You see this that? Right here? Yeah, that guy. Get on there and do a goat fly over, and just don't stop. Don't stop for nothing. Don't stop for so nothing. So you take it up, and bing, and then you can fly out. There we go. All right, interesting. Again, this is not the big secret down here. Skeleton headpiece. Incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a different uh, house of cards going, so I'm actually able to see what happens in real time. Practically <laughs> real time. Startling development. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. now... I'm no longer streaming to, to Twitch as we uh, do this. Right. So, all this time, folks, you could have secretly been watching <laughs> all of our recording sessions yeah. if you knew okay. the exact time to tune in. Did you see that little thing that you just passed there? I did. I couldn't uh, bring so myself that's to stop fine. flying. If you, I understand. <laughs> Once you get started, parents, talk to your kids about goat flying. Um, mm -hmm. But if you were a little bit lower, then you would have run into that. And you could then have quickly gotten down to the ground by doing, say, a uh, frog slam. Or in this case, I'm just going to call it a gorilla suplex now. Please. That's, that's its name. Uh, and if you had, say, activated something which may have opened something back right there, then uh, then you could get through it if you did that precise combination. Oh, opened something? As in yeah. went it, to parallel dimension or turned into a No, or as if there was a... Uh, some lever somewhere? There's a big old skull lever pretty much bl right below where you started. Uh, oh, yeah, going yeah, from. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that is that took me forever to find, and I am proud to say I actually did it without FAQ. I'm not I sure think. that that really falls in the category of things to be proud of. Well, <laughs> you don't know me as well as you might. Uh, oh boy, I was just strutting around after that. PhD advisor was like making progress, and I'm like, yes, but not in the way you think. <laughs> Oh, Tell me this lever. Oh, it's even farther over. It's oh, it's way... back where we goat flew. Yeah, from. it's back there. Yeah. And you have to goat fly off the wall on the um, the left hand side. And uh, I should also mention there's just barely enough time. You gotta do it. There's just barely enough time. So if you want to like clear out enemies beforehand, that's a good move. And it's one of those ones where as soon as you smack into that wall, you gotta you gotta uh, 
gorilla suplex immediately. Okay. And it's under. Yeah, you can. You can. Or turn it into won't. A I won't get there uh, in time. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. You can hear the timer counting down. Uh, yeah. So I have to go fly off. Uh, this, go, this thing here. To that the thing, upper like left? right above you to your left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think either one of the walls will work, but the top one is easier to just because it's not like you know pixel perfect. I'm doing very good. This is a good looking run so far. There you go. Oh, that was very nice. Okay. Uh, it's worth noting that he used Chicken Saxon or Mini Saxon uh, because you do go a bit faster in chicken form. And down we go. Yes! There, there we, we go. go. First try. Beautiful. And here you go. Uh, do go in there. <laughs> do go into the giant uh, Please. obvious. Uh, yes, uh, fine. Uh, All right, here I go. Uh, I mean, I don't want to hold your hand. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to tell you how to play. Every gameplay experience is unique. <laughs> you could get the rewards for what you bid. So one thing that made me uneasy when I played this game the first time is you will not complete the mask uh, before you assault Kalaka because Kalaka himself holds the final piece. All right. Um, and so. What's he doing with it? I don't know. He's trying to become a mariachi man. Or something. Is it working? Well, you like. I'm, his I'm not in the business of ruining a skeleton's dream. You are. That's what. What? How many skeletons this game have you just tumbled into pieces? That was their dream. <laughs> uh, this is the story of about a million skeletons who one day dreamed of being torn limb from limb by an animalistic Australian. Party. It's a skeleton party. Do you, do you think mean? when they have a party, skeletons play the xylophone? I or don't think that, they have any choice. Is that is that one of those like hurtful prejudices that everyone just assumes? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like alternative world agave fields. I think it looks cool. Yeah, kind it of. Does. I like that black sun hanging up mm -hmm. there. Sun blasted stuff. It's made of like what Metroid Prime <laughs> Two. Yeah, yeah that, that was a good one. Boy, that was a good game. You heard that uh, people are infuriated and enraged about the new Metroid. Is there I actually one? don't know why. Yeah, Metroid Federation or something like that. Yeah. It's, a, it's an E3 deal. Whatever. I said that to date the video. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you are watching this in the next month or so, folks, or you will not care. Remember, that's a, a headbutt wall right there. Yeah, I know. Okay. It looked green on my monitor. Oh, I see. He just, just doesn't realize want that the instant you said it. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't want to admit that he's colorblind. Yeah, That's not actually how colorblind works. I know, but, uh, also, I would absolutely instantly admit it. Yes, no, I. I I've been well known, in fact, for pretending to be colorblind. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think the deal here is you turn into a little man, get into the very bottom right corner, and then dimensions shift. Yeah. See. Isn't that neat? Yes. Right. They actually put the little the soccer ball there because that is the. Uh, oh man! <laughs> so, so much better with him talking to that little tiny Saxton Hale. Uh, both of these guys make this sound a bunch worse than it is. I don't know. This maze has never given me trouble. As indeed mazes tend not to, like follow a wall, you know. Right. Sure. It's 2D. Yeah, I mean I, the dimension swaps could be an issue, but they don't. But they're not. There's, there's use of it. So. No, there's no dimension swap wall. Can you imagine so. pulling out a pen and paper for this? No, if the game maps it for you. I mean, <laughs> you can just look at the map. Actually, please do continue to look at the map as you progress through the. Uh... I like his chicken voice. <laughs> <laughs> he gets used to cluck. <laughs> oh, he's he's probably just cussing or something. Yeah, Yosemite Sam stuff. <laughs> there's there's a sort of a kinship between Yosemite Sam and the the Bushman of uh, Australia, the the adventurer out there. I don't think he's a Bushman, is he? No, I think that's I probably think that's a term for an different. indigenous person. Yeah, this is like the opposite of the Bushman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In a yes, 
Uh, I've been watching a lot of Bush Tucker Man, I think is where that came from, with Les Hidden. No idea what that is. It's, uh, it's a survival show, one of those ones, but it's like from the 80s, I think. Oh, Possibly okay. 70s. And so it's great. Like, he runs across a croc one time and just shoots it. Just gets out <laughs> that gun and blows it away. <laughs> Oh, uh, they didn't mess around. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Yep, that's that's how you survive. That's a wilderness survival technique. It is. Bring a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Tr- trick for you. Uh huh. All you listening at home. Right. Hey, did you notice the? Did you notice the map? Did you see what's happening? I see it's chicken. Yeah. And I see that there's a heart here. Yeah, there's a heart. That's not important. I assume that we want to get to the head or the eye yeah. or something like just, that. Just keep going up. You got it. Yep, this is the tricky maze. It's really just kind of a spend X amount of time in this. Right. Did you guess the right path? You get a few extra seconds. Mm-hmm. I apologize to all you folks at home because I know Pactor's not going to edit a thing out of it. <laughs> Maybe I will just to spite you, just completely do a professional job. <laughs> yes, that that would indeed heap burning coals upon my head. Hey, there we go. Yay. Um, so is there one? Oh, one is there, there is one more. Silly, silly me. There is one more to get. But it's on the way to Kalaka, so it's not so bad. Um, it's it can be a bit tricky though, so I hope you love precision platforming. <laughs> oh, spoiler, he does not. Uh huh. Is it as bad as the Thule Tree Tops? Um, not for me. I did it in about a tenth of the time, and you did it much quicker than I did the, the Thule Tree Tops. All right. Well, which way am I headed? I assume back uh, to the teleport head. Just heads. to the nearest. Yeah, head head to your nearest Easter Island head. Please. Mm-hmm. You're missing it. You gotta go back. I'm too late. I missed no. it. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna want to goat fly right out that little hole right there. Okay. And to do that, you just get to the trivially done. Right. See if I Man, I don't know how we did this before because it is so useful to be able to tell you what to do. Uh, uh, I think that we just bumbled around and you had. Yeah. Which, so I'm sorry for any of you bumble enthusiasts out there. Yeah. That's right, this is for the big kids. Ooh, look at him egging you on. I like this guy more. <laughs> By it's a long way down, he means it's a tiny drop to a teleporter down. What are these wobbly effects? Oh, yeah, I do kind of see that. I think it's just supposed to be the smoky, torchy things going on there. So that's basically the deal here. Double jumps are absolutely your friend. Uh... A good trick is to get right over where you know a thing will be and, you know, then double jump. I played next to whichever one it was. Uh, you say that, them. but I'm not seeing the evidence for it. Well, just wait until I get the leaf shield. Yeah. We will. It's over, Kalaka. I am a robot. A robot man. That's not a song. Did you ever see the Mega Man TV show? Oh, no, I didn't. I, I never, I actually, I never saw the Mario show or the Mega Man show or anything like that. We never had cable or anything. Sure. Wherever those those shows appear, I'm still cable. So I only saw bits and pieces of it at friends' houses where sure. uh, none of it made any sense to me. Maybe right. it would have made sense anyway. But... I, I suspect not. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I always felt like I was missing the significance. You know, that is uncharacteristically generous of you towards a show. <laughs> Assuming <laughs> that the air is somehow must be on my part. Surely this isn't all that it is. <laughs> There was one uh, episode I remember where Mega Man was, uh, because he's a robot, his, his brain is, is digital. Oh, and sure. uh, his uh, brain was uploaded into the body of Snake Man, uh-huh. who was a what robot was themed about snakes, you see. Sure, right. Uh, yeah. He has a gun that shoots snakes. The snakes are also robots, because mm-hmm. yeah, no, kids. Yeah, we, we, got, we got one of those at the lab in case yeah, we ever right. need some snakes. <laughs> in case you ever need some snakes. Yeah. Right. 
Anyway, analog snake dispensers are just so inefficient. You know? If you're wondering what the significance of this story is, there really isn't one, except yes, no, that uh, sure. he, he had to speak with a lisp because uh, Snake uh, Man, you know? Yeah. And I remember thinking, I guess he was programmed to speak with a lisp. Yes. Because it, there's it no reason why you would have to, no, even on your Snake like Man program. My goodness. Uh, that room took me, I think, a number of tries my first time. Uh, you should have tried telling a boring story about a snake themed <laughs> robot. I, yeah, it's like a little encouragement for yourself. Now go in the big mouth. There we go. Um, yeah, your your brain realizes that the longer you're in this room, the more you'll have to tell this story. <laughs> it, uh, gives you a pass. All right, now this totally the last one. Good. Except for the one held by our friend Polaco. Right. Right. Hopefully we will suplex out of him eventually. Oh, boy, will we. I feel lighter. <gasps> Ooh, you do. Uh, turn into mini Saxton Hale, please. And try yourself a jump and a jump and a jump and a jump and a jump. <laughs> yep, it's, it's unlimited chicken flight, or in this case, somersaults. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this incidentally makes getting any anything else trivial in the game. Sure, you know? I got it. And it allows you to skip through everything, basically. Right, let's see if there's anything else now. I want to buy. I guess I'll buy oh, all the hell. That's good. Yeah, you might as well fill up. I don't know if they have enough. Yeah, there's not enough. The skeleton called me Brosef, which I'm yeah. not sure if I take a shine to. <laughs> He's a casual kind of skeleton. Uh -huh. All right. That they don't stand by ceremony. Well, uh, are we going to go fight Kalaka this episode? That's what I would care to do. All right, and we've got to go to a Kalaka beating. Here we uh, go. I, uh, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Did you play Sunset Riders? Yes, I play Sunset Riders. Yes. Is that the bury me with my money? Is that who I'm? Yeah, no, this is this is Carmano. He's yeah, no, I know, four. but I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of the right game, right? Yes, you are thinking of the correct game. Yeah, good. I love Carmano. Yes, I've wanted to kill Kalaka with Carmano since yes. the start of the LP. <laughs> uh. Oh, I never thought I'd miss Saxton Hale. <laughs> I do appreciate that he's also a mini Carmano. Oh, look at his little jump. I love him. Yeah, it's doing it's little aerobics in the air. Oh my gosh. Man, there's so many good He's, skins. Yes, he is high effort. And yeah. it might look like his he's more powerful, but his animations just make him look like he's got a longer reach than he does. Sure, I see. Well that's a bit of a that's a bit of a disadvantage then. No. I guess. I mean the moral support alone makes up for it. Yes, I'm sure. Ooh. It refills your psych bar. Mm-hmm. All right. all right, we got the, just the, this. The big temple is all. That's right. It's, it's not the worst thing in the world. There's some of those high-level enemies that are not so fun, but uh, I'm confident that you can handle. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this thing is so long. I like this visual effect a lot. Me too. Yeah. It's perhaps a little the... ruined by Cormano. Uh, 